My favorite thing about teaching is the opportunity of seeing a student's mind <laughs> be blown <laughs> by an idea or a way of thinking about the world that they have maybe never been exposed to before. My name's Andrew Del Rio. I'm the uh, assistant professor of philosophy at George Fox University. I'm also the director of uh, what's called the Apologetics Initiative. And I'm a faculty fellow in the honors program. I think at heart, I'm a missionary. I got into teaching philosophy because I was interested in understanding whether or not Christianity was something that I should give my life to. Then as I got deeper and deeper into philosophy, I began to see that it was really useful for my own sort of discipleship and maturing in my faith um, as a Christian. And also that it was useful in talking to other people, and whether that be sort of evangelism or discipleship. For me, it's all one big thing of becoming submitted to the Lord Jesus Christ <laughs> with my life. I find that philosophy for me is very close just to like what I love, what I worship. Um, I worship Jesus Christ and I want others to know the goodness that I experience there. And the way that I hope I can help people do that is through philosophy. I also love teaching because of how I see my students grow in just being a flourishing human being. I think a large part of how I think about the importance of philosophy is that it helps us flourish as human beings, um, helps us become better thinkers, it helps us care more and see more clearly what a virtuous life looks like, and helps us instill in ourselves practices that that cultivate a virtuous life, whether that be the life of the mind or life more broadly. I think I'm, I'm pretty casual. I don't have a very formal air about me when I'm in front of like students in a classroom. And I hope that that might remove a bit of a, a barrier to them kind of being themselves around me. When I'm teaching a philosophy class, um, and I get to introduce them to uh, an argument for skepticism where they, if they follow the argument, might end up thinking that they don't know anything. And they walked into my class thinking they knew a lot of things, but they walk out of my class wondering whether they know anything. Uh, and then they're excited to come back and like re-engage in that material and argue about it with me and discuss it with their classmates. Like, for me, that's, I mean, that's as, as good as it gets. Why, why else would I want to teach other than to have those sorts of experiences? Those are the, um, yeah, that brings me a lot of joy.